All right, what is going on guys? Julian with the next back with another video. Today is a great day. Today we are gonna be taking the Stinger GT, the Kia Gini, if you will, to the drag strip for the very first time. This is also my first time going to a drag strip. So we're not gonna be necessarily breaking any records, but we're gonna be having a good old time, you know? It is getting cold out here in New York City, so it is not optimal uh, drag strip time, but whatever, we should have a fun time anyway. Not really going for any records. I'm just going out there to have some fun. Maybe take down a scat pack or two, maybe a Mustang GT. We'll see what happens. It's early. Anything done under the hood? It's well uh, stock. Uh, has an more than 100 grand under the hood of that car. Exhaust, yeah. You run it before? No, no, no. First time. First time? First time, sir. See what happens. Okay, I need the last four of your social on there. Okay. We just use it for the car number. No problem. And this way we can put the paper to it. So we made it to the drag strip. We're here. I just I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. I, I might be not waiting in the right line. Let me zoom in. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Should have want to size up on this helmet, bro. This thing is tight as. All right, so real quick, before we do the first one of the day, this is gonna be kind of like just a practice run. Uh, I'm probably gonna do this on map zero, no tune at all. Uh, just kind of get an idea of like what the different. Holy shit, it is bright out here. Uh, what the different like mods that I have, just the exhaust really and the intakes, if they make a difference compared to whatever the stock quarter mile time is. Um, but yeah, we'll see. has to be the best thing I've ever done in my life. Uh, all right, so next run, uh, some things we definitely gotta change. So first thing we gotta change, uh, we gotta launch better. I mean, I might've let off too early. Uh, again, first time at the drag strip, nerves getting to me, you know? Thank you. Yeah. Let's see what it was. 13.5. Um, yeah, but I let, <laughs> I let off so early. I fucked that up, dude. Oh, but that was fun. Okay, so for first run, we know what we got to fix for the next run. Um... All right, so we're going to do another run. We'll do it stock again, uh, just because last time I really, I, I, it was my first time, so I didn't really, you know, put too much blame on it, but I did fuck up the launch pretty bad. I, I waited too long, and then I also let off way too early. So this time I'm just going to hold it out all the way to the end, not be such a fucking scrub, um, but it should be fun. I actually had, like, so much fun that first time, so this the second time should be a lot more fun now that I know, I sort of know what I'm doing. I don't want to, like, you know, get too cocky. Try this one more time, traction off, first gear. Too far. Right there. We're gonna do auto hold and just floor it. Still sliding, holy shit, we're still sliding. That was a good launch though. That was bye bye, Mr. Mustang. That's one Mustang down for the day, baby. And that was stock too. That was completely stock, no launch control. We just did um, auto hold. Curious to see what the time slip is. Oh, thank you. You're 
what did we do? That was, ah, it was faster, but it wasn't, it wasn't quite as fast as I was going for. Uh, so that was a 13.3 at 108, which is much better than uh 13.5 at 89. <laughs> uh, but let's see if we can break into the, I don't know, maybe 12.9s would be good. So this is gonna be our second real run of the day. Maybe we get to line up with this stinger. Oh, that's pretty cool. So there's a stinger next to me. Uh, guy I just met, he has a GT. I believe he has Borla, uh, JB4 engine intakes, and he has a TCU from Torque Motorsport. So really that TCU is probably what's gonna make the difference. But we'll see, we'll see, should be a good race. Oh, and no, we do get to line up, man. That worked out perfectly. What map are you running? Okay, I'm running one right now. I'm going to do two after. Ooh, this is going to be a fun race. Cool. All right, we're good. Auto hold. Oh, he got me right there. His launch was so much better. All right, so that was, um, he spoke me right there. That was a good little example of what a transmission tune does. He has a Torque Motorsports TCU. Um, I don't think he can use launch control, but he, I definitely feel like he launched way better than me. Thank you. Oh, wow. All right. So 12-2. Holy shit. So he just ran a 12-2-113. Same basic mod. So he has JB4 engine exhaust, but he has a torque TCU. 12-2. I almost made it into the 12. So 13-0 at 110. So it's definitely better than the last run. Um, we're going to put it up to map two. Um, try to break into the 12s. That'll probably be it for the day. But that's really interesting to see what um, the difference that a transmission tune makes, man. Wow, dude, that is crazy. All right, this is gonna be the last run of the day. Uh, a few differences between the two runs. So I'm doing map two. Um, and before I had a boost by gear reduced in first and second gear, it was pulling boost back by I think like five on first and then by one uh, PSI on second. So I turned all that off. Uh, so now this is map two. This is probably the highest that I generally run this car. Uh, we're gonna use launch control this time. I didn't do that last time, but we'll do it this time. And it looks like we're going against the Hellcat. So it should make for a good uh, clickbait YouTube video. <laughs> this fucking AC why is this on Yeah, man, those cars are fucking fast. They definitely catch you at the end. It's just getting off the line of those things is tricky. Oh, what a race, though. That was a good one right there. That was, oh, that was the best of the day. Traction control off, launch control. He spun. He spun so bad in the beginning that, like, I even missed the green light by a little bit, and I was still able to get in front of him. Oh, man, I'm the fucking auto steering is <laughs> guiding me through the track. Oh, I think I got to end it on that, though. That was a, that was a great video. Thank you. All right, what do we do that time? Wasn't able to break 13s though. That was even slower than that first one. I think it was because I'm spinning. All right, so really quickly, I just want to give some final like summarizing thoughts on what happened today. Uh, I did three real runs, four, but I don't count that first one. So I did three uh, real runs. The first one was on map zero. That run, I did, I believe, a 
0.1 at about 107 mile per hour drop speed. Uh, the second one was on map one. That was the race against the Stinger that absolutely smoked me. That was a 13 flat with a 109 mile per hour drop speed. And then the very last one, which was on map two, um, and that was map two, traction control off, launch control, um, everything that I basically could. And that was actually a 13.1 second uh, quarter mile with a 110 mile per hour trap speed. And I'm not really sure what happened with the map two, why I went a little bit slower. I didn't get any logs, so I couldn't really see if it was like the car pulling timing or whatever the case may be. But for me, map one was my highest uh, quarter mile speed. And this is kind of like bringing back to a video I made a long, uh, long time ago where I was doing a draggy 0 to 60. Map 1 was my fastest 0 to 60 time. And today, map 1 was my fastest quarter mile time. So I definitely want to kind of figure out why map 2, I'm losing some power. Uh, most likely, if I had to guess, it's something to do with the spark plugs. Um, so I'm probably at some point before I go back to the drag strip, I'm going to pull all of them back out. Um, and redo them. I'm having two cylinders in particular pull timing right now, uh, six, cylinder six and I believe three. Maybe that'll fix it. It could also be a gas issue. So before I go back, I'm probably going to do an E85 mixture before I go out there just to see if I can pull those timings as close to zero as possible. But the most, the craziest part of today wasn't even the Hellcat race, uh, just because nine times out of 10, that Hellcat will beat a Stinger. Um, if it can hook up correctly today, it couldn't hook up correctly. So I was able to, and he did catch me at the end. It was just at the beginning part of the race where I was able to get a little bit of a lead. Uh, but the most interesting part of the day to me was the race with the stinger. Like, holy fuck. I did not expect that thing to launch like that and just smoke me like that. Uh, he did a 12.2, I think 112, 113. I don't know the exact time. I don't remember, but uh, he had a 12.2 quarter mile, uh, time. And that's without doing any E30, any water meth injection. It's just exhaust intakes and a TCU tune, which I think was really the biggest factor. Uh, the transmission in the Stinger is probably the weakest point of the powertrain. And the TCU tune like clearly showed how big of a difference he made. Um, the guy I was even talking to him after the guy said that his previous best time without the TCU tune was a 12.6. And for his first run today, he was, he was doing a 12.2. So he shaved 0.4 seconds off a quarter mile time just with the TCU tune. To be honest, like that was the craziest part of the day. It's really cool to see like what a properly built Stinger could do at the drag strip. Like this guy's pulling 12.2. He could easily get into the 11s uh, if he does a uh, water meth uh, and some other basic mods. But um, yeah, I mean, it was, it was a super interesting day. Uh, I cannot wait to go back and shout out to that guy who uh, brought the Stinger and really showed out for the Stinger community. It was nice meeting you, dude. Um, if you're watching the video, comment down below. But uh, yeah, if anybody else has any questions, please let me know. I would love to answer any. Adios.